Alright. Hey guys. Sorry if if you can't see me very well. It's just that I had to reconnect my wireless adapt my wire my dog my nice dolphin thing. My nice dolphin But here's what I wanted to show you. Look at where it says continue. Night three. I am telling you, it was a bitch to complete. I mean, literally a fucking bitch. Let's listen to the message. I can't even hear the fucking message because of Foxy the fucking pirate. I'm gonna go get my mom's other styler. I don't know what the fuck she did to this one. And you guys think I'm going to redo night two? No, I'm not doing it. 
Besides, my power is already low. Basically, before I dropped the camera from my head, I had Foxy the Pirate kill me during the message. I can't even fucking listen to the damn message. Hold on a minute. I guess I have to hear the message from night two, I mean night three. But basically, this is the message I've been trying to hear, but Fox 
Foxy the fucking pirate wants me to not hear what the hell the phone guy has to say. And I want to know this bitch's name. I want to know who's telling me all these clues. Yes, they're actually clues to the first Five Nights at Freddy's about some unannounced, unnamed person that was black, and I'm not trying to be racist here. I watched that game series review about the killer. It was a black person, again, not being racist and not copywriting any shit. So anyway, this is actually half a prequel and half a sequel. The prequel is before the first Five Nights at Freddy's, and the sequel is after the first game. So basically, it's half, half, let's have this, half of the sequel, which is called the prequel, then the first Five Nights at, first Five Nights at Freddy's game, and then the sequel. I wonder if they're going to do a third one. But basically, he's giving me clues on who it, on who is behind all this. And I think in Night 6. He tells me that someone actually messed with one of the animatronics that wasn't even allowed to move. Let's listen to night four, five, and six, and I don't think there's a custom night. First, I gotta wait because I know there's gonna be a fucking ad that pops up. Hello? Hello? Uh, hey there. Night four. I thought you didn't get the hang of it. Okay, so, uh, just to update you, uh, he sounds like Jeff Goldblum with all the, uh, uh, really? Hello, hello, uh, hey there, night four. I told you you get the hang of it. Okay, so, uh, really, uh, you gotta use that fucking word so much in the games that it's not funny. So, okay, so, uh, which is got Jeff Goldblum's way of talking. Just to update you, uh, uh, there's been somewhat of an, uh, investigation going on. Uh, what the fuck is with all the, uh, it's fucking driving me crazy and all the ums, too. Where was I? Uh, now I'm doing it. Fuck. We may end up having to close for a few days. I don't know. I want to emphasize, though, that it's really just a precaution. Fazbear's Entertainment denies any wrongdoing. These things happen sometimes. When the fuck has this shit ever happened besides in the game? I doubt there's a real Freddy Fazbear's pizzeria around this fucking world. It's all, it's all getting sorted out in a few days. Just keep an eye on things and I'll keep you posted. Just as a side note though, try to avoid eye contact with any of the animatronics tonight if you can. Someone may have tampered with their facial recognition systems. That don't fucking mean the night guard, you bitches. That the even though I am yelling even to the creator, I'm not really yelling at him. It's just that he's always doing this on the seventh night, right on the fire thing, tampering with animatronics. The animatronics were tampering with themselves. All right, we're not sure. But the characters have been acting very unusual. They 
they did they started doing this shit from night one, you dumbass. Almost aggressive towards the staff. Now that's different from the first game. They interact with kids just fine. So when they're around kids, they turn into mindless robots that do shit for kids. But when they're fucking around adults, they feel like they have the need to kill the adults and stuff? Okay, I think this game's gone a little more to the chaotic side of the game. Towards the staff, they interact with the kids just fine. But when they encounter an adult, they just stare. Uh, anyways, hang tight. It'll all pass. Good night. Here's how he says it. Hello, hello. Uh, hey there, nice form. I told you you can get the hang of it. Okay, so uh, just to update you, uh, there's been somewhat of an investigation going on. Uh, we may have had the. I guess I got. Not long as well. Come on, camera, just stay alive a little longer for this last message. Oh, oh uh, what on earth are you doing there? Didn't you get the memo? No. Uh, the place is closed down, at least for a while. Someone used one of the suits. We had a spare in the back, a yellow one. Golden Freddy, you bitch. Someone used it. Now none of them are acting right. Listen, j just finish your shift. It's safer than trying to leave in the middle of the night. Uh, we have one more event scheduled for tomorrow, a, a birthday. You'll be on day shift. Wear your uniform. Stay close to the animatronics and make sure they don't hurt anyone. They fight the night. They fight the guard that's keeping an eye on them. And you want to tell a guard to stay 
anywhere near these bitches? I would stay far away as possible. And thank God I am. Okay. Uh, for now, just make it through the night. Uh, when the place eventually opens again, I'll probably take a night shift myself. Okay, good night and good luck. Let's see if Custom Night has, has any calls. So this is what you earn when you beat Golden Freddy with all of them on 20. You win a Golden Freddy plus toy? Are you high? But that's all I wanted to let you guys know. Alright, bye.